What's up, you money makers and CEI army? Remember, we have been talking about ticker symbol CEI and we have seen such a great uh, ramp up in the price point from all the way to $3 to $7 just before a couple of days. What's going on with CEI? Let's talk about CEI announces the effectiveness of one for 50 reverse stock split that we talked about this before a couple of days followed by Cosmos. So we'll be talking about ticker symbol COSM. What has been happening with Cosmos if you haven't caught up on the update one of the bigger update is they announced 32.5 million registered direct offerings so we'll be talking about that many people ask me what is going on with molen because we are trying to get back to the original price point uh, right now we are at 22 cents we were down pretty substantially in last five days take a look 35 percent down one month we're down 15 percent six months we are down 85 percent year to date you can see we are almost down 96 plus percent what is going on molen so i'll be covering all that juicy interesting information we have been following up the cei has been following up the footprint of what cos and the cosmos health did and here we are with one for 50 um, um basically the reverse stock split for cei so i'll be covering that before that i just wanted to ask you if you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell because we have been pretty successful um you can take a look how far we have gone within a last one month from right here three dollars to seven dollars take a look 72 percent up right now we're back to four dollars can we go back above and beyond the seven dollars price point that we have been talking about let's talk about that before that i want to tell you that there is really heavy heavy high high short interest in ticker symbol cei take a look uh, cei short interest right now we are looking at fintel and our short interest is yesterday 51 percent that means a lot of people are shorting this stock is on the radar short sellers are playing their best game at the moment we saw the volume 61.2 million out of that this Findra exempt volume that we have we have told seen 119 million in total volume with that 61 million short volume pretty substantial short volume before that we saw 214 million stocks shorted as well compared to 434 million was the total volume 49 percent short interest 45 percent 48 percent so we have been hovering around 50 percent many times we go 50 percent plus in terms of the short volume which is driving the price down and and putting the price in pressure but what is going on they announced the effectiveness for one for 50 reverse stock split we have been waiting for that because we already knew that they announced one for 50 reverse stock split uh, for the companies issued and outstanding shock stocks what does that mean what is going to happen into your brokerage account that means that for every 50 stocks that you own will be converted into one stock so in other words if you had 150 stocks you'll be seeing three stocks into your brokerage account that also means that the the total price point will spike up times 50. now that does not really change your total investment and accompanied by a decrease in companies authorized shares of common stock again it's a good thing reverse stock split in general i'm not pretty big fan of reverse stock split but in certain cases it might be helpful now again board of directors approved this on december 14 2022 we knew that it's coming they changed their date as well became effective on central time 1201 a.m and will be reflected into the marketplace with the opening of trading as they mentioned now what does that mean and what is going to happen so let's take a look into this also the adjustment will be made in preferred stock convertible preferred stock companies multiple convertible promissory note as you can see right here and also outstanding options warrant convertible debentures and also other convertible securities and also the 2014 stock incentive plan that you already know with the stock incentive plan lucas energy inc 2010 long-term incentive plan as an amendment and restated to date other equity based plans of the company so basically everything and anything now what is going on with the trading let's take a look right here we are down right now in today's trading session five percent we saw the deep off all the way 353 we went back up four dollars and 30 cents so pretty big and uh, wild swings while you can think about this is the swing of 
21, 23%. Now, five days, we are really, really looking into one way, $3, the other way, seven plus dollars, $7.30, I believe it went as high as. Remember, biggest difference between Cosmos and this, uh, this particular stock. So let's take a look at Cosmos right here. Cosmos is Nasdaq traded entity. Again, CEI is on NYSE, I believe. Yes, NYSE American. So again, they're trading on a pretty uh, multiple bigger platforms compared to some of other stocks that we have been looking into especially mmtlp so that is also impacting take a look what happened right now 1 million is the average volume right now today's volume is pretty close to 10 million let, let me go ahead and refresh so we can take a look into what's happening right now we are seeing 10.2 million so the volume is moving up pretty frequently and we are seeing pretty healthy volume, 10x volume than the average volume that puts this stock into a pretty pretty moved territory as well. Now, 1 to 50 is a stock split, as you can see. Open with $3.99. We went all the way to 445 went down to $3.51. And this volatility was uh, was expected as uh, we talked. And you can, uh, you can refer to my previous video. But what we're looking for is with this volatility, if the volume spikes up and we are still looking to see that if the short sellers will have to cover themselves which will force the price to go up that could be sellers market once again if they're holding it tight especially with reduced number of stocks which means that there will be a lower liquidity in terms of the outstanding shares right do you agree write down in the comment section below what are your what is going to be your exit strategy and or what price point you bought bought cei which is why I'm telling you to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on some of the very juicy stocks that we have been talking about. We started with Eyeless, we went to CYBL, we looked into HCMC along the way, and we started investing in double squeeze, MMAT and MMTLP, once again, a great investment. For those who had exit strategy, who are writing for free, congratulations to you. While we're talking in, about that MMTLP, we got into Cosmos. Again, a great stock. Then we moved on to CEI and there are a couple of other stocks. And Molen is again looking in back into the territory of, uh, uh, of the buying territory. Think about it, 52 week range. We are looking at 18 cents. We're right now pretty close to the lowest of the low of 52 weeks. The high price point is $6.05. Now, what you can expect, Molen had many rise, many peaks, and many falls, as you already know. What is going on with this stock? Again, average volume, 189 million. Today's volume in the trading session, right now, we still have a couple of more hours to go, 123 million. Now, think about it in terms of uh, the average volume, right? Let me go ahead and refresh so we can get the refresh data, 123.0. So 123 million in today's trading session, pretty narrow range. So looking at 21 cents as the low, 24 cents is the high. And there is more merit to the case because they are receiving, they already have received 6,000 class one commercial EV cargo vans, which is accounted for $200 million in delivery commencing quarter three, which is a pretty big volume, approximately $200 million in revenue and uh, revenue and uh, sort of sales is a pretty big thing for Molen. Now think about it, Molen, the way that we have seen dips and valleys, we went to all the way to 63 cents. And from there, we picked up to $2.68. Can we go back from 22 cents to $2.00? Possibly yes, if everything works out, because this particular inventory that they are need to, they are going to be delivering in Q1 2023. So Q1 2023 is around the corner. So we are not looking at one year or one and a half years, so on and so forth. So it is pretty near term. So we are looking at Q1 2023 as to when they'll start delivering. We'll, I'll keep you posted as to what's going to happen. But you want to take it with once again grain of salt because. Molen shares uh, f fell down because of the missed on I go delivery gate. Now, de delivery date. Basically, what happened was they were supposed to announce the delivery date for I go, and people were waiting for that particular um this this particular um um the vehicle that they were going to discuss now so let's take a look right here they have not provided any update that it appears that molen will not deliver its first shipment 
of iGo today, which also means they have not provided any update on the delivery status, which is concerning. And it is creating some of the concerns, some of the FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the investment community in within the shareholders. The company has previously noted and stated that the delivery date would be December 20th, which was yesterday. We don't know what is going to happen. There is no press release. There is uh, The company is being quiet at the moment. The shares of mole and stock paid for it. They had downturn overall year to date, but they went down even more in last uh, five days. As you know, we're down 35%. The last four and last stock I want to talk about today, uh, where we are seeing once again, 1% up. We have seen peaks and valleys in this stock as well. But once, uh, congratulations once again, if you are part of this community as well. I started covering this stock and guess what? From $1.83, we went all the way to $21. So congratulations if you're part of this uh, spike, if you're part of this pump. Once again, congratulations. Define your own exit strategy. We are still down 25% in six months. We are doing pretty well in terms of last four weeks. We're up 101%. So kudos to you. Congratulations. You doubled your investment. $100 turns into $200. Five days. Take a look. We are massively up as well because of some of the FUD and whatever that happened, whatever that happened with the reverse stock split and some of the errors on the brokerage platform sides. But Cosmos Health Incorporation announced the pricing of 32.5 million registered direct offering and concurrent private placement priced at the market rate. Now, $11.50, I believe is the price this warrant will be. So right here, $11.50, basically what's going to happen is they announced that it had it has entered into the security purchase program. If you miss this, I covered in my previous video, but just within one sec, within 30 seconds, I'm going to cover this once again, the institutional investors for the purchase sell off. 2.8 million shares of the company's common stock in registered direct offering warrants purchase up to 2.8 million common shares in concurrent market placement. The warrant will be $11.50. So once again, pretty high price point, as you can imagine, good for the investor, good for the company, and good for their shareholders as well. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.